hello welcome to set intentions weaving now I would like to show you how to do a half hitch knot so we're gonna start with our larks head knot up here at the top so I'll go ahead and do another one that way we can get a really good idea really good picture of how to do the half hitch or clove hitch knot so I'm gonna take one cord I'm gonna choose the third cord in. Now this is up to you, depending on what your pattern calls for, which cord you would like to use. Um, I'm gonna do the third one over, and I'm gonna move it towards my left. This is what's gonna become my leader or working cord. This is gonna serve as the essential road for the rest of the knots to travel along. So now we know that the rest of the knots are gonna be going diagonally to the left. If I wanted to start with the right, then I would take one and move it to the right. So this is really the leader, the direction that we're gonna be going. And I wanna keep this leader or working cord going in the direction that I would like it to go. So I can have it come up crossed, go more horizontally, or do a really steep diagonal or come somewhere in the middle there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take the cord that's right next to it. So this is a second cord from the left. I'm gonna bring it up and over this leader cord here so it's going over top of it and right here it's underneath it so it's under and then it comes back over and then I'm just going to tuck it down into that little U shape that it made just like that see how it wraps around that leader cord and now I'm going to pull it tight and while I'm pulling this working cord tight I'm also going to hold on to this leader cord to make sure that the direction's not changing and to make sure this knot really maintains its shape. So that's one half hitch knot. I'm gonna do two to secure it in place. So again, it's coming from under. It's going up and over my leader cord. I'm gonna pull that end back down through that U shape that we just made, wrapping it around that leader cord. And I'm gonna pull it tight while holding on to my leader cord, just like that. And I'm gonna pull it nice and tight. There you go. All right, I'm gonna repeat the process right here, again with the next cord. So I'm gonna go up and over, and then I'm gonna pull the end back down through. Pull it tight. So that's one half hitch knot. We're gonna do it again for a double half hitch knot. And again, I'm going to hold on to both cords really tight as I pull them together. And that's it. That's how you do the double half hitch knot. If you'd like to do it on the other side, going the other direction, we'll take this cord now and make this one now our leader cord. Bring it across, going towards the right. And I'll use this cord since I'm going to the right, not to the left. So I'll use the cord that's right next to it. Again, I'll bring it up on top. And then bring the end back down through that U shape there. And I'll repeat that process. Just like that. And I'm doing that again with the next cord. So I'm doing two half hitch knots, making a double half hitch knot with each cord. And there you go. You can see how that started to make an arrow or chevron or little beginnings of triangle. So this is how you can use the half hitch knot or double half hitch knot in your macrame patterns. This is what it'll kind of look like just like that. And then this is what it looks like on the back side. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, follow along on my YouTube channel, Set Intentions Weaving, to stay up to date on other tutorials. Um, or follow along on Instagram, at Set Intentions Weaving, to see more designs and more tutorials.